SIG Energies, SIG and Store, stack in seven minutes. We're gonna try and teach you everything we know about this product in seven minutes. Can we do it? Let's find out. Inverter sizing. Now you've got huge amounts of choice here. You've got nine to pick from. You've got a three kilowatt, a 3.6, a four, a 4.6, a five, a six, an eight, a 10, and a 12 kilowatt energy controller. That is this bit at the top of the SIG and Store stack. Now, realistically, in the UK, you're gonna be deciding between the 3.68, because that's G98 compliant, the 68, maybe the 10 kilowatt versions. On a single phase supply, getting approved for anything over 10 kilowatt is really difficult. Now, what does change between the different inverters is the bigger the inverter, the more PV input you can have. So you can have more panels on the bigger inverters, more strings. On every energy controller, you can have 200% of the rated capacity for the PV. So on a 3.68, you can have 7.8 something kilowatt of PV on your roof. Battery sizes. Right, we've got two choices right now in the UK and they're two brand new models because previously we had a five kilowatt hour and an eight kilowatt hour, but now we have the six and the 9.1. Now on the SIG and Store, SIG and Stack, the batteries are these two here on this particular setup. There's two 9.1s on this battery, which totals 18.2 kilowatt hours. Now, these batteries are really, really advanced. They've got an advanced BMS. Every battery has its own battery management system, so they work independently. If one fails, the others will stay on. And you've got SIG and Store's five-point protection program. So you have an aerosol, a pressure release valve, gel pack linings, you have heat sensors, and the whole battery system is encased and thermally managed. What's also really cool here, we can mix and match the batteries. You can have 9.1s mixed with sixes, you can have two nines, two sixes, up to six per stack. Gateways. Now, if you have your SIG and store in a property where you have frequent power cuts or you just want that independence from the grid, you can have the optional gateway. Now, on the single phase version, this is called the SIG and store Home Max. There is a brand new model coming out towards the end of 2025. The only difference with that is the previous models, they did make a little bit of a hum. The new one, apparently that's been eliminated. What has also changed though, is you can only have two inverters per one gateway on the brand new gateway. On the old one, you could have up to three. Now in the UK, we spoke to SIG Energy, less than 2% of systems ever had more than one inverter attached on a single phase supply because you have that grid limitation. They're probably not gonna approve you for two 10 kilowatt inverters on a single phase supply. You can have up to six modules. So I think you'll be all right. Let's talk about accessories. Now, when you buy your SIG and Store stack, you've got two choices when it comes to the car charger. You can go for the AC charger, seven kilowatts AC, pretty much like any standard charger. The difference, you can manage it from the SIG and Store app. But if you're feeling flush, you can go for this one. This takes DC power from the SIG and Store. You do need this module on the battery itself. You plug this into your car and you can do rapid charging. You can do 12 and a half kilowatts or you can do 25 kilowatts. Now, the only thing to bear in mind here, if you're gonna have the DC-DC module in your stack, you can only have six batteries. If you have the DC-DC module, you can only have five. Let's talk about price. Now, this is trade price only, and it includes VAT. There are no installation prices included in here, but the inverters, they start from around 850 pound for those 3.6s, and you can go right up to 2,000 pound if you wanna buy the big 12 kilowatt version. Your batteries, well, that's six kilowatt hour module. Trade retail on that is gonna be around 2,200 pound, and if you wanna go for the big one, the 9.1, expect to pay about 2,800. 
Now the gateway, that's the off-grid device, they're around £850. And the chargers, well the AC, the 7 kilowatt version, that's coming in at about 500 quid. It's pretty reasonable. The DC, DC units, they are more expensive, but they have just dropped in price. So now you'll pay around £1,500 for the 12 kilowatt and about 2000 for the 25 kilowatt version. When it comes to configuring your system, you've got a huge range of options with SIG installed because you can have it as a battery only solution. That's where you charge it up at night, you use that power to run your property throughout the day and if you've got any spare, dump it back to the grid. If you want, you can also set this up with solar. So you can have solar panels on your roof and you can drop them straight into the side of the battery and it will do all the conversion for you. Now, there are other options when it comes to your system. What you can have is a third party solar system. So if you have a fit scheme, maybe an existing PV, you can still have a SIG store and you can monitor it with their power sensor and you can view what's going on in the app. And finally, you can also do vehicle to grid. Now it's not technically approved right now in the UK, but you could use your car through this system to power your home. When it comes to controlling your SIG and store stack, it's gonna be super simple to do because the MySigan app is one of the best on the market. They are constantly updating this. Every time I go onto it, there's new features, there's new updates. If you're watching this video six months from when we film this, I bet you it's changed and it's even better. Now, some of the features that stand out for me are the AI Assistant. Not only will it manage your home's energy, it will look at charging the battery, it will look at weather forecasting, it will make the best decisions to give you the maximum ROI on your system, but it can also give you advice on how to improve the management of your system. If you get stuck, there's a full chat GPT integration for any questions. It's a really, really flexible app. It's probably the best on the market as well when it comes to open APIs for like third-party integration. So if you've got Shelly devices, Home Assistant, this is the one for you. Right, let's summarize this product. Now, if you're in the solar market, you'll be aware there's a huge amount of hype around the SIG and store, SIG and stack at the moment. Everyone seems to be talking about it. Customers are asking for it. More and more installers are wanting to get trained on the product. Having spent some time with it, I can sort of see why it's difficult to find faults with this product. They are constantly developing and bringing out new products and they're bringing the price down. Now, we might be a little bit blinkered here because we're actually SIG Energy's 2025 installer of the year. We've done hundreds and hundreds of these systems since we started working with them, pretty much every configuration, and we've had a great success with the product. There is so many more features within this product and we actually did a full review covering everything, not in seven minutes. So if this one has interested you in SIG and Store, my recommendation is go and watch this video on screen and what you'll be able to do is learn everything about the product. Now, we are gonna do some more install content with it. If you've got any questions, maybe you wanna get a quote on one, then head over to the Heatable website. And if you've liked this video, give it a like. And check, are you subscribed to the Heatable YouTube channel? Because if you're not, then you'd have missed this video. You might mix the next one. And on the subject of the next one, I'll see you on the next one. The next one, the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one. I can't say next one again.